Comparison is the killer of creativity. Let me say that one more time. Comparison is the killer of creativity. Literally, every single day you live your life where you're looking around at everybody else running their race and trying to emulate and model what other people are doing, you're literally dousing the embers of your creative flame. You're taking what other people are doing in the world to create their version of success and trying to replicate it for yourself. I've been guilty of this too. I've done this before where I've stepped into something new that I didn't know how to do and I looked around to my left, I looked around to my right, and I looked for people who had a version of success that I thought I wanted. Now, that's okay in the beginning to source some ideas, to look at how other people are doing what they do, but if all you ever do is try to repeat what somebody else did, you're literally going to shut down and shut off your channel of creativity because there's something unique inside of each and every one of us just by nature of the fact that you've been on this planet for 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, 60 years and accumulated a life experience that nobody else has. No one else on this planet has exactly the life experience that you do. So there's no way that anybody could repl replicate the medicine and the wisdom that you have. But if you don't trust and you don't believe that there's something inside of you to be unlocked, to be expressed and offered that will be valuable to other people, then the next logical option is to just copy what somebody else has done. Now, <laughs> this can happen in so many different areas of life. Just, just go to the gym and watch how people are looking around, just kind of sizing everybody up. You walk into a room, you're like, all right, who's got the biggest muscles here? Who looks the, who's the most handsome? Who's the most attractive, charismatic, sociable? We do it everywhere. And now, because of this online business world and this digital reality we live in, we're comparing who's got the better Instagram, right? Who's got the most likes on their posts? It's, it's quantifiable now. It's measurable. We can, we can measure who's the most popular, right? Remember when back in school when it was just a subjective opinion of who was the most attractive or the most popular? Now we can quantify that shit. And that's what really messes us up because I can look and say, you know what? It's actually true that that person is more popular, more favorable in the public eye than I am because they got more likes, more followers, they got more engagement, they have more money in their bank account. But I wager to say that's actually false evidence. And honestly, frankly, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter what somebody else is doing because the reality is, is that they're running their race at their own pace. Maybe we all start off at the center, right? Let's create some common ground. We all start off at the center. We're birthed into this world from a woman Everybody has that same experience, at least as far as I know. Nobody's completely created in a lab and then, you know, birthed some other or inorganic way, right? We are birthed by a woman onto this planet. So imagine all of us at the center of this huge circle, beginning at the beginning of this massive circle of humans. And as soon as the gun fires and we start living our lives, we all go off in different directions. And at first, maybe you're running right alongside somebody that's pretty close to you, right? Like, hey, we grew up in the same neighborhood. Our, our parents have the same kind of economic background, same lifestyle, same culture. Cool. But every foot forward that you go towards your North Star, whatever direction that that's in, and they're going in their North Star direction, the further you go, like spokes of a wheel, you get farther and farther apart. But if I get farther from this person's trajectory and I look and I'm like, wow, that life they have looks pretty good. You're a little bit ahead of me and I like what you got. I might, I might get distracted and off course, off pattern with where my destiny, my creative self is actually meant to go. And then getting consumed and obsessed. I've gotten so lost in the game of thinking about what other people are doing and how they're creating success in their lives. It's literally a waste of mental energy physical energy, time as a resource to focus on somebody else's race. I mean, just think of the Olympics, right? If we're literally running a foot race and I start looking at the person next to me, it's going to affect the way that I run. I might even run out of my lane and get wobbly and like get disqualified or fall over. So think about how that analogy is actually represented in real time for you. Where have you focused on somebody else's race? what somebody else has done, the success that somebody else has created by the way that they started their business, started their family, invested in real estate coming out of college. All of these things are, are literally examples of how I've compared myself to other people. Coming out of college, I had no ambitions of starting my own business. Coming out of college, I had no desire to start investing in my 401k or purchasing real estate. Five, 10 years later, when I looked back at my friends who did, I'm like, damn, 
that was a pretty good choice for you to invest in that condo down the shore because now it's worth twice as much as it was. And instead of a investment property, you've got five, right? Like, dang, that was a pretty good choice that you made right there. I kind of wish that I had. And as soon as I go down that route, I start taking my eye off the ball. I ignore completely the choices I actually made, not the ones I didn't make because I'm starting to look at somebody else's race. Or even in the present moment, I look at, well, how many people are listening to the Rising Man podcast compared to all the other podcasts out there? As soon as I consider anything that is other than my lane and what I'm up to, I start wasting time, wasting energy, and also not accomplishing anything productive. Just ask yourself this, when was the last time that you actually got something productive or useful from comparing yourself to somebody else? If you're looking to other people for inspiration, or other people for examples of motivation, something to help keep you inspired and moving along on your journey, that's different. But the last time that you put all of your time, energy, and efforts into desiring or coveting what somebody else has or somebody else created and trying to replicate what they did because you think you want what they've got, when did that ever work out for you? Tell me, because I want to know. I can't think of an example of somebody I know who just replicated or repeated what somebody else did and is sitting there retired and having a completely fulfilled life experience. Because the most fulfilling thing at the end of the day is knowing that you followed your path, that you trusted the statement that your way is the way. Your way is the way. Okay? Not somebody else's way, not Jetty's way, not the other person down the block's way. Your way is the way because you said so, because you decided. That gives you all the power and all the authority to decide exactly what you do, to live and die with the consequences of your decisions and to rise and fall with your successes and failures. That's the most fulfilling thing, is knowing that at the end of the day, you did it on your own merit because you decided for yourself. And so I hope this message really hits because I'm tired of seeing guys out there who are caught up in the comparison game like I was before. It's just a waste of time. There's no reason to sit around comparing yourself to other people. Get in your lane, run your race, figure out what you're doing, look around for inspiration at times, but then put the blinders on and get focused on what you're up to and what you're creating in the world. Because that right there is exactly what we need. All right, y'all, make sure you tune in next week for another Monday Morning Meditations. I'll catch you there. 